Yo, what is good, Samuel Squad? Back at it again with another video here today, man. And we're going to be going over all the coin making methods that I have been doing in Madden 21. Now, there's a lot. There's going to be five that I talk about in this video. One is going to include money. The other four are not going to be money. So, again, you know, most of you guys like me probably were pulling for LTDs, man, these last three, four days. And I lost a lot of coins. So, I'm going to let you guys know what I'm doing to get my coins back and, you know, what you guys should be doing as well. So, before we get into it, though, make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys sub to the channel, man. Road to 1K, we're coming soon. And also, make sure you put on post notifications if you want to see my videos right when I post them. So, again... First thing we're going to talk about is like the money one. You can spend money. You guys know I don't buy bundles. You guys know I don't be putting too much money into this game. But the one case that I will put money into this game is these special offers when you level up. Now, most of you guys know about this already, but I just want to highlight for the people that don't know. Um, these level up packs, man, once you get from zero to 50, you get a bunch of them. You can spend $15 and you're getting a guaranteed 500, I think like 85K for it guaranteed like you're getting that much for fifteen dollars and then you can see i already have 145,000 on here i was lucky enough to pull 85 to castro out of one of the free packs so usually on average you're getting about 200k back just going from zero to 50 just from coins and whatnot so that add on, that onto your 585 you're almost at 800k you know for 15 bucks you know leveling up account does take you know four to five hours but Four to five hours plus the fifteen dollars, you would got about eight hundred k. So that's I think this is honestly like it's one of the best methods in the game. At of course it does take some time to level up, but the thing about leveling up is it's super easy because you literally just go to the NFL Epics, you go to the Jack Youngblood. You guys already know this, Jack Youngblood. You go to the third challenge, put it on one star. You literally are just returning kicks, and it's not even you returning it, bro. You literally let the computer return the kick for you. And then you just click replay and just over and over again. You can watch the NFL. You could watch TV shows. You can watch movies. You don't even have to pay attention to this, man. So it's super easy. And then, you know, play 15 bucks, man. You get 580K plus the 200 you already got. 800K-ish for that. So that's, I think, one of the best methods in the game right now if you want to spend money. Now we're going to go into the four methods where you do not have to spend money. So... The first one I'm going to say, it's solo battles and weekend league. Now, guys, you're going to be like, a coin making method? Nah. But this is a grinding method. You know, you got to do this, man, because solo battles, you know, it's super easy. It's not super easy, but I think it's super easy because I have a pretty good team. But you can do this even with a pretty bad team. You just got to get glitchy with it. And the thing is, you get about 125K. I think it's like 125K if you get ultimate, um, which is pretty easy to get so get that 125k for solo battles i'm going to be doing that until i have a really big coin stack i'll always get that free 125k from solo battles because i can use that for packs then weekend league is more sweaty but i'm not even a good madden player and i get about 10 to 13 wins you know not even like going for anything more than that i get another free 100 125k from that so just these two weekly i'm getting about 200 250k from and again, solo battles, I really don't even pay attention. Weekend League kind of pisses me off. This is one you don't really have to do because it is annoying. But again, do these two things as well because it's a good weekly coin making method. Or not like coin making method, but a way to get coins. So now we're going to get on to the other coin making methods that I do have. Let's check them out. All right, so the next coin making method, this is going to be, I'm going to call it a multiple account method. So once you got to 50 on, you know, a few of your farm accounts, you know, this is already going off of, you know, you ranked them up to 50. What I've been doing recently is I have been going for daily coin ups. So what I'll do is go on all of my accounts, get the daily coin up. I'll do the Jack Youngblood kick return those two times, pull a get a silver pack, and then you get these um, daily coin up cards. So I'm doing this on all of my accounts. And again, I just kind of started this. But again, like every, this is for four days. I mean, 25K and they do it weekly. Like if you do it on multiple accounts, man, you're making a lot of coins. Like this, again, this is not costing you anything, but just, you know, a couple minutes to go on each account and do this every day. You know, I, th I think it's really worth it because again, I've gotten 20Ks on, on my accounts. You know, you can get, I've seen people get 300K. So, like, I think it's, like, a really good method, especially, like, you know, if you get something crazy. But even if you aren't getting something crazy, like, say you're just getting 5K every day. Um, I, I don't know if you get, yeah, 5K is the minimum. If you're getting 5K every day, that's 35K per account, and you're really not doing anything for it. So, 
again, I would definitely look into doing this. And another multiple account method is you want to do the team of the week solos on multiple accounts. Now, this is why. Because you get these team of the year tokens. As you can see right here, team of the year token. At the end of the year, you're going to be able to collect these and you get a team of the year player. Now, I've done this every year on multiple accounts because they're auctionable. They're auction. They're auctionable, tradable. So, like, if you don't want to sell on your second account and you actually want the player, you can just trade it to your main, and you got a team of the year player. So, again, these games, it's a full game, and it's only one game. But trust me, guys, you're gonna be thanking me later. You're gonna be thanking yourself later for actually doing this on multiple accounts every week because, again, these cards are going for you know the minimum. I think last year was three, four hundred k day one. And then the highest was probably like 800k. So you definitely want to be doing this, man, because if you get one of those 800k guys, that that is nice. That's nice. It's literally just from playing some solos. I mean, it's probably I think you might need like 16 collectibles, but at the end of the day, like 16 games for like hundreds of thousands of coins, that's a good good idea in my eyes. So you might as well do that again multiple accounts make sure you guys have farm accounts man it's really not hard to create you can make five on your xbox so let's get into the last method that i have for you all right so the last method is pretty familiar to you guys man i've done multiple videos on this this is my third barry sanders that i am creating man again you guys are going to think this is a lot of work a lot of time but guys if you're not spending money in this game this is probably one of the best coin making methods. like there is not many coin making methods in this game right now you know other than the ones that i've told you like, it's not like the past Madden's where there's, like, a lot of stuff to make coins. This is one of the best, man. Again, that's why I've done it. This is my third time doing this. Now, you just have to know the times and, like, how to do it. Again, you know, I'm not going to go over this too much because I have made videos on this. But the times are when all pro fantasy packs come out where people are all ripping that pack, man. People are throwing those cards up. It's a good time to get your golds and elites for cheaps. And also what I noticed this last Thursday when they dropped all those LTD cards and people were ripping packs. These were really cheap. That's when I started my third one. I was like, you know what? I'm going to start it again. Why not? I got all of these done. So I started this account with 400K. I have 443 right now. And I think I have a few cards to sell. So I think I probably have 480, 490K. So I'm in the profit 90K and I have 17 sets done. You know, I'm not going to push this one. I'm not going to try and get it done quickly. I'm just going to let this one come to me. But again, guys, you literally just got to do it at the right time. Again, all pro fantasy packs is a good time. Big LTDs and packs is a good time. All you do is, again, click on the card, add it in your calculator, go through every card and add it. Don't buy them. You add them up in the calculator. Again, it might seem like a lot of work, but this literally takes a minute. It's actually really quick going through all the cards and adding them up, like if you just do it quickly. So add all these cards up, see how much the card's going for, see how much his power-up's going for, and see if you could break even or profit by doing this set. And if you can't, just go to the next one. That's what I did. I got 17 sets done. I'm in the profit about 90K right now. So it's worth it. Again, you do need coins to do this method. But guys, if you have coins, you're looking to get something going, man. This berry's probably selling for eight, 900K right now. So it's going to be, you know, I'm probably going to lose 100, maybe 150 on this because the other sets are, are like all L's right now. But, you know, I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait. And, you know, I'm going to get Barry for probably, you know, seven, well, maybe 700K profit-ish, seven, 800K, which is nice to me. So I think this is another one of the best. If you don't want to spend money on the first method I talked about, this is probably the where you're to make the most coins in the next one. Again, the team of the week one, that's going to take the whole NFL season to get. But trust me, you're going to be happy when you actually do it at the end of the year. The daily coin up cards, those I just started doing that. And I think that's actually a really good method, especially if you get a really high one. That's going to help hook you up even more. But guys, you guys got to have multiple accounts. You got to have farm accounts. It's kind of just the way that this Madden is working out right now. Because again, there's no good coin making methods. So you got to have multiple accounts. Um, what was the other one? The solo battle on Weekend League. You guys might get mad that I call that a coin making method, but that's how I'm getting 200k weekly. So I mean, I hope you guys are doing that too. Again, even if you don't want to play online games, you have solo battles. You're playing a computer. So you can do that, and it's it's pretty simple, man. Especially if you're doing the um, the punt return on uh, when you're on defense, and you can just pick the ball every time. 
you literally get the ball every time. It's super easy. So, guys, that's going to be it, man. Again, this is for the guys that you might have spent a bit too much coins on packs this week. And, you know, I, I'm with you there, man. I feel you. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of these, let me know down below, and I'll try and answer them as quick as possible. Um, make sure you guys like the video, sub to the channel, put post notifications on. And if you guys have any other coin-making methods, let me know down below or DM me on Twitter. DMs are always open. Try and put those in a video as well for you guys because I want to help you guys get coins, man. I'm trying to have everybody succeeding in this Madden. So um, that's going to be all for the video, man. I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. It has been real.